Hi, my name is Meng and today I want to talk about the context menu in iOS 13. This is pretty new and it's going to replace the 3D touch. The way to reach it is by whole click on an item and then you're going to find additional menu on that. But you can also find this menu inside the app itself. So if you go to news, for example, and you have a bunch of items, you long press the item. It's going to give you this contextual menu. So we're going to learn how to do that. And it's super simple. It only takes a few lines of code. So here I have a very simple UI. I have the text, a scroll view. Inside the scroll view, I have an H tag so that I have this horizontal scrolling. And, and then I have a loop that takes some data and loop it. And then I have my item. For each item, I'm going to create a contextual menu. It's a simple modifier. So I'm going to do dot context menu, curly braces. And then I'm going to bring a V stack because we have a stack of elements like this. Let me just fix this text right here. I'm going to put make first. With this, you're going to be able to see a single context menu item, but it's not clickable and it does not do anything. So what we need to do is, first of all, we want to put an image, so an icon on the right side. So I'm going to embed this inside of H tag. And then I'm going to bring an image using a system SF symbols that's called star. And then I'm going to embed this H tag inside a button. Now using this, I'm going to be able to do some stuff inside the action. So with this, I will be able to see the item with the icon. And when I click, it's going to call the action. And I can create more icons by copying and pasting. And then I can just put this to remove and the icon to trash using the SS symbols. And that's it. So now my context menu has two items with a text and an icon and I can stack more buttons if I want to. And what is cool about this is that it takes into consideration the positioning of your item. So it's going to do the animation perfectly for you. The contextual menu for Swift UI only works since Xcode 11 beta four. And I'm sure in the future, you're going to be able to have more options such as grouping items, but also having the ability to have destructive actions in red. So that's what I wanted to show you today. And if you want to learn how I created this app from scratch, you can take my course where I show you how to create beautiful animations and UI interactions using Swift UI. Also, let me know if you want to see more Swift UI videos or UI design or any other tool in the comments below. I'll see you next time.